journey to Ubuntu commemorates the life and legacy of Nelson Mandela through photographs taken by a South African documented photographer, Matthew Willman. He joins me this morning along with Will Jones with the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. And Matthew, you had the opportunity in the last 10 years of Nelson Mandela's life uh, to document it all. So can you just, you know, I know that there are probably so many moments over that 10 years that really stick out to you, but is there a moment that's just etched in your memory that you just will never forget and we'll see in this exhibit? Absolutely. What we'll see in the exhibit is 10 years of documenting the most intimate moments of Nelson Mandela's life in his post his presidential years. I was commissioned to document and archive the life and times of Mandela. And part of that process was to literally just sit with him, to sit quietly, to allow him to speak, to talk. We shared um, artifacts with him, documents that he would remember. And Mandela had such a vast um, experience in, in this understanding his history. So he would literally be sitting at the foot of an author of a, of a of a, a man who just loved history. So that's what we were doing. It was these small stories that he would tell, which we've been recording ever since we began the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory in 2003. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, just a lot of you have not been over. We're in 100 years. That that's we're still, yeah, that, that we're of his birth. Yeah. Yes, of his birth. And so that we're celebrating here. So this is an opportunity for you to visit the Freedom Center to really get an opportunity to, to, to see some very intimate moments. Is that what we're getting from you? Yes, we're not only going to get the, the life and times of Mandela from cradle to grave, yes. but we're, what we're going to see is our images that have never been seen publicly before. Mm -hmm. We've got images of great intimacy on what was this fight for, for freedom um, against this apartheid movement in South Africa um, for 60 odd years. Um, so we're going to journey through that. And it's intimate. We've got original artifacts there. And you're going to leave your current world and you're going to go into a world that was Mandela's. And while we celebrate him today as an international uh, figure of leadership. Okay, and then obviously, this is not just going to be where you can visit a photo exhibit. There are several program offerings, and you can find about that on their website. But tell us a little bit more about what's happening at the Freedom Center, Will. Definitely. We have a ton of programs that are lasting throughout the duration of the exhibit, which goes on to uh, January 1st of next year. Uh, we have ex exhibition tours on Fridays. We have... Uh, uh, documentary screenings in our Harriet Tubman Theater. So we have just a multitude of things that people can check out uh, every week and a few times a week too. So again, they can go to freedomcenter.org for more information and details on those upcoming programs. All right, so so many things that are going on at the Freedom Center. This is an exhibit that I am personally getting a first chance to experience because I miss it this time, but much more um, meeting, especially on his 100th birthday. Absolutely. Um, Mandela is more relevant today than ever before. Yes. Um, we have issues not only um, in your own country, but around the world. Um, we're dealing with issues that Mandela's legacy truly stands as a beacon for how one can overcome challenges for one, leadership for two, and three, social cohesion, which is so important. You know, we've got so many uh, divided um, issues uh, in South Africa, uh, I can speak for, for Africa, and definitely around the world. And Mandela's legacy is, is about tolerance. It's about leadership, servanthood leadership, and of, obviously social cohesion. So let's unite and work together as a part dividing ourselves. Well, it sounds like this exhibit is about to be a conversation starter, so I look forward to it. How long is the exhibit um, at the Freedom Center? Again, it's there until January 1st of January. next year. Uh, and we're open today from 10 to 6, or I'm sorry, from 12 to 5, and people can come on out and check us out. All right, thank you so much for all of your work. Oh, I mean, 10 years of his life. That's something that I look forward to seeing. Thank you so much, Will, for joining us this morning. All right, coming up. I told my